maybe we can actually like join the police and actually see if we can actually do something together. It is a national issue and it is under the spotlight right here in Dallas. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. Doug is off tonight. Attorney General Loretta Lynch speaking to students today about police and the communities they serve. Our Steve Pickett live outside Sunset High School tonight with their reaction to the roundtable. Uh, this was a special situation for these youngsters involved here at this high school to meet the U.S. Attorney General to have this conversation at their level about policing and community. But there are many people who say that conversation was fine, but other people should be at the table as well. Nita Stewart had a front row seat. The community policing is a partnership. Attorney General Loretta Lynch wanted to hear from her and other Sunset High School students. The topic? how to improve police relations in the neighborhood and the city they call home. It's a two-way street. Do the police officers also respect people of the community? And are the community people actually listening and taking into account what the officers are doing? Because they're there to protect and serve. Off the street. Four years ago, it was this Dallas scene, a police-involved shooting in the South Dallas Dixon Circle neighborhood. This past summer, a downtown protest against police shootings turned into a bloody ambush by a lone gunman. Lynch will spend two days here talking about improving police relations. The leaders tied to groups often critical of police say no one has invited them to the dialogue table. We, we need to have these conversations, but we don't know whether um, you know we're serious about discussing these things. So it's very vitally important that we be at the table, but it seems like our voice is continuing to be silenced about these issues. The attorney general did invite two Dallas Cowboys players to sit down with the students today, and she touted the city's response to police conflict. Dallas has always been that model. Dallas has always been a city that has worked on this issue. Uh, that was essentially about the only amount of sound or opportunity to hear from the attorney general on this matter. Media was allowed into that meeting for about 15 minutes in that dialogue and then were escorted out. So we didn't get a chance to question her about this question about expanding this conversation beyond the 19 students of this high school who were at the table today. Reporting live, Steve Pickett. CBS 11 News. Steve, thank you. Attorney General Loretta Lynch will stay in Dallas overnight, and she plans to attend tomorrow's National Night Out in District 8, which includes parts of Redbird, Oak Cliff, and Southeast Dallas. Mayor Mike Rawlings, Dallas Police Chief David Brown, and other elected officials will be there as well. That starts at 8 p.m. at the University of North Texas, Dallas campus, right there on University Hills Drive. That event.